I've been getting a lot of PMs for the past two months. Uh, people are really interested in the uh, in the guy that makes the uh, the knives with the railroad spikes. And uh, before I say anything, uh, I want to show what he does. I don't have a knife here. Here's the deal. Uh, Bill, Mr. 45 Bullet, really loved that knife. And uh, he wanted to do a video on it too. So, since they're so expensive, you know, the guy can't go around, you know, giving everybody knives. So, I uh, they're expensive because a lot of work goes into them. I'm not saying they're expensive because they're, they're a lot of money. They're not really that expensive. <clears throat> so, what I did was I sent the knife to Bill so he could do a video on it. So, that's, that's the deal. But I want to show you some pictures uh, of what what this railroad spike turns into okay that railroad spike that's my in the background that's my rock on armory I just want to show you how nice it carries in that waistband holster this is the officer size rock on armory and uh, I'll be carrying this today and I just want to show you how nice it works in that uh, waistband when you get get the 1911 you gotta pull a little tighter because it's, it's got some weight to it but it still carries pretty good <clears throat> now, the railroad spike, um, the name of the company is Iron Mountain Cutlery and Forge, and I will put their entire link under this video in the information box. You click the link, the website will be there, you'll see everything, you'll see the gallery, the home page, contact page, about us, even pictures of him. Uh, what he, what he has to do to go through to make this thing? Um, I've worked with steel for uh, for years, and uh, I know a little bit about blacksmithing, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you're artistic, and you're pretty good with your hands, uh, you you know you you would be good at blacksmithing. You really would. Uh, I used to do a little bit of it. <clears throat> I didn't do nothing this extravagant, but I did bend, twist, and shape steel. Uh, you know, with a torch and stuff like that, made jigs and all that shit. But this is this is a whole other level. This is uh, an art to the fullest. And what he does is, he'll get that railroad spike right there. And uh, the only thing that that'll look the same is the back part, is his handle. And remember, this will be all buffed and shiny and polished. It looks like a mirror. And then this will be hammered and flattened out. This will be twisted around. And it gives you a nice twist. And let me show you what, what it's going to look like. He goes from this. And check these pictures out. What do you think of that? Uh, they're very reasonably reasonably priced. Um, I really want to do this video for this company because they sent me this tripod. You believe that? This tripod, I, I showed you before, but I didn't really get into detail. This tripod is called a V12 Fluid Head Tripod. If you guys want to get one, that's the name. It's called a V12 fluid head it's from Davis and Sanford so just google it you know what I mean but the great thing about it is when you move it around it doesn't make any noise right look we can sneak up sneak up on Bill's Woody without him knowing it he has no idea see it and uh, he sent me this thing this this ain't cheap it's all it's cast iron it's heavy it's heavy because when you move it, uh, it keeps the tripod firm on the ground. It's really, really sweet. So between that and I'm a fan of his knives and his artwork, uh, I have to let you guys in on this, who he is, and uh, I'll, I'll give you the website. And uh, that's it. He also has a YouTube channel. 
I'm going to put that link under the website. So just go in the information box and you'll see both. Uh, I've gotten, I'd say, 15 PMs in the past few months asking about uh, Iron Mountain Cutlery. So I'm doing the video. Here's the information. You guys asked for it. And uh, I hope you go check it out and uh, get yourself one of these things. They're beautiful. So, I mean, what'd you think? W weren't they beautiful? Shit, that's a lot of work goes into each one of them. So, uh, up and coming this week will be... Well, there's a gun show coming up, and I don't know. I'm in the market for, uh, believe it or not, a pump shotgun. Um, I want something like traditional. That, that's what I'm thinking about. doesn't mean I'm going to come home with that. doesn't mean I'm even going to get anything. That's what's swimming around in my head. Pump shotgun. So, uh, that's what's going on. That's what's going on with that. And, uh, we'll have some range videos coming up again before the winter gets here. That's for sure. And, uh, but I think it's fun shooting in the winter. I like to shoot with gloves on. It's fun. You know, it sucks. The cold sucks, but, uh, for some reason, I, I shoot better when, I wear, when I'm have wearing gloves. Isn't that weird? So the best gun to shoot with gloves on is probably the Beretta M9. Because it's got a really big trigger. Trigger guard. I don't have it down here with me because it's, uh, it's upstairs in my bedroom. I keep that on my night table lately. Uh, it's just got a lot, of, a lot of firepower. 18 rounds, 9mm. It's awesome. Uh... Another good gun to shoot with gloves on would be this Sig Sauer P226 Elite. It's got a pretty big trigger guard. You can wear gloves with that one. Some, gu some guns, don't, the trigger guard's not big enough. You can't wear gloves with it, you know? Like, uh, this little Glock, you probably could wear gloves with it, but it looks, it looks, the trigger guard looks big because the gun's small, but it's not, it's really little. You could wear gloves with it though. It won't be as comfortable as the M9. Um, another good gun to wear gloves with is the HK USB. See the way the trigger guard's designed? See how it dips down and dishes out at the bottom? Some guy asked me what's a good gun you can wear gloves with. 1911's pretty good. It's got a little trigger guard though. So I guess it depends on the thickness of your gloves. I don't see no problem with that. Not at all. It'll work. But I think the Beretta M9's got them all beat because it has the biggest trigger guard. The XD's pretty much the same trigger guard as the Glock. Uh, this one would be pretty hard to wear gloves with. <laughs> Unless you got little hands. The little, the P238. But, uh, that's about it. Hope that answered your question, dude. This is just an update. I wanted to give you guys this information on the, on the Iron Mountain Cutler, Cutlery, Cutlery, uh, website. Because so many have been asking for it. And I've been meaning to get to it, meaning to get to it. And, uh, I finally got to it. Alright, I'll talk to you soon, man. See ya. <laughs>